Hello and welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 blind playthrough. This is Hollow, the dual swordsman, using two long swords. One is a fire long sword, one is just a normal damage one. Mostly it's for breaking through um, the shields and such, like high armor enemies. I hit them mostly with the fire long sword, and low armor enemies, I'll hit them with the raw damage, because it'll do more. It's pretty sweet. So we have a couple of things to cover. Now the first thing that I want to check out is a in the last area we're in, I've just recently been able to get um, an item that actually uh, restores petrified people back to their original state. What I actually just thought about just then in that moment was that what if it only has one use? I'm scared about if I can only use it once to bring one person back. Yeah, look, it only has... I only have one. Tell you what, I'm going to go use it on the one that's important first, just in case. And uh, I plan to go back to the Hyde Tower of Flame, or Hade, however you pronounce it, um, and check out that underground area under the water, because it's just been bugging me that I never went there, and I wasn't high enough level, and I definitely am now, most definitely. But this is another area for me to visit sometime after I'm done in that area, but I want to go check that out first, so real quick, we're just going to go run over and see what we can do about this statue, and yes, I know I can get that guy's sword by killing him, but I have no use for it, it's not, it's not important to this character at all, even remotely, guys, so... Whoa. You're right there. How did you turn to stone exactly? That's my question. I want to know. Must not have been very nice there. Petrified. Hard to speak. She looks kind of raggedy. You hear that goddamn rattling of these bastards in here. Tell you what, I'll, I will give her a moment. You're right there, mate. A little bit stuck. A little bit stuck behind the wall. There, there you go. There, pathing. Yeah. Wow. I remember when I couldn't barely fucking damage these things, and did you see the damage I just did? Fucking most of its health just gone. I really want to backstab one, but. All right, that's that's your moment. Come on, be done coughing and shit. I'm fine, I think. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. Really, I am. Um, very raggedy. My name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Oh, you're that traveller. I just, I was just here. I still haven't thanked you. Yeah, well, you did, actually. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. Ah. So, perhaps, you could consider this my thanks? Sure. Prism stone. Isn't that, that's not pyromancy, isn't that what you throw down? Yeah, prism stone, and it's light and match one, but it's where you throw it on the ground and it shows you if there's an invisible path there or not. It emits a beautiful phasing aura of seven colours with a very rare eighth. The prism stone does nothing special but if you feel you may lose your way it can serve as a path marker. It's nothing to do with pyromancy. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life if you have not come. Oh. I feel shameful wearing these rags. 
Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I guess so. I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything yeah, will do. I've got like all that hollow soldier armor shit. Put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. Okay. Give equipment. Oh look, pyromancy flame. So I guess this is where you learn pyromancy. Increases fire defense, lightning defense, dark defense. Uh, temporary boost magic defense, lightning defense. Someone's just messing me saying praise the sun. Ah, yes, yeah, she teaches you actual pyromancy. So, um, useful if you want to be a pyromancer. Who you are, starting stuff. All right, I'll give you a wanderer's hood. I'll give you uh, hollow infantry armor. I'll give you. Some hollow infantry or soldier gauntlets and some wanderer boots, I guess. There you go. Enjoy. I wonder if she'll actually wear those specific items I gave her. I have my very own teacher. His name is Corillian of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. Shit. What's his name again? I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? So she oh want dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. She wanted to do sorcery and then excelled at pyromancy. Okay. Alright. So... Guess we're gonna have to try and find that teacher and ask them why they ditched him. So much. I'm very happy for this gift. You're welcome. After I change into this, I'm heading for Matula. Good. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Matula is my best chance. I wonder if he's the other petrified person? Wouldn't that be interesting? Do you have something to say now that I've sort of turned her out of stone? What? Clearing the way was you doing, was it? Yep. <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. Fuck you. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, no. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. It's a very cool Please sword, you have. I'm sure that we are going to meet again. Maybe he'll help us later down the line. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. Yeah, he will. I swear it by my sword. I bet he'll be a useful summon later. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> what a laugh. I am in your debt. It's a true man. Who honors his debts, and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. Ancient sword. Ooh! Hey, we got a gesture, we got the joy gesture. Alright, okay. Cool, so that's the Moonlight Great Sword, by the way. It's what you get from Seath the Scaleless by chopping off his tail. That's how old that sword is. It looks fucking awesome in this game. And first one, it looked cool and everything, but it was nowhere near as cool as it is now. Right, so the other thing that I want to do is... Please tell me I still have the thing, then. Oh, no. I only have one. I knew it. It's a fucking good thing I chose to go save her first. I wanted to de-petrify the person that we found in the area in last time. 
But, um, yeah, sadly, it looks like we only get one use out of it. That's lame. I'm sure we'll find others. But we also have another sublime bone dust to throw into the far fire while we're here. But, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you in just a moment. So, we're back. And this is the area that uh, I noticed that this light is now on. Last time we were here, it wasn't. Um, and I was thinking where that person that we found in this area would be. And as we can see, she's now here. Yeah. So there's this contraption. And I bet she helps us with it. But for now, we don't need to do anything with that. I have a feeling it'll have something to do with what's down there. But I don't need that just yet. Because we're going to go to um, the other area that's down here. And I'll just skip to that. Alright, we're back. So this is the area that I was talking about. Do you remember um, in the first few episodes when we were back here, I started going down here and realised I've already struggled with being where I wasn't really meant to be a little bit too soon. I shouldn't go down here. Well, now I'm, you know, more than ready to deal with the enemies that are down here. I feel like I can sort of explore and discover what is down here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Haha. <laughs> Check that out. And you gave me trouble. So there's... I can go down a level. Like down there, I guess. But first, I want to see what you're guarding, mate. Alright. Thanks for the combo. You are dead. Cool. So yeah, just learning their attack patterns and where's safe to stand and stuff like that. Uh, human effigy, dark troches, dark what? Sorry, dark troches. Did I read that wrong? What the hell is that? Dark troches. Is it an item I can use? Dark troches. Dark, dark troches. Temporarily boost dark defense. Torches, troches, or whatever, with an inexplicable pungent odor. Temporarily boost dark defense. Verbal histories often mention Saint Elizabeth. Her unique concoction medicines and potions are still widely used today. So that's the mushroom person. She's Her name is still known even today. Soul of a Proud Knight. Old Knight Halberd. Ooh. Ooh. Old Knight Halberd. Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Um... An undated halberd, wielded by a warrior from a time so ancient that there exists no records of his endeavours, has extremely low durability. Sometimes, just a thing falls to pieces. It unleashes its last flash of great power. That's cool. So it's like a really weak and easily to easy to break halberd that probably does a lot of damage before it breaks. Alright, come here. Nice. Right, we got any others down here? What what even is this place? Technically, right now we're under the water, right? Like if I, if these were windows and they were open, we'd we'd all be drowning. Um, but yeah, we're going fairly deep down. I mean, I can hear the sea. I'm not sure if we're actually under it though. Damn it! I forgot about his damn dead angle crap. Gotta be careful for it. On that much damage, and I've got that ring of regen on, so it's cool. Ah, here we go. Ooh, an elevator. It must go far down. I don't know if this place is Anna Londo, and I'm starting to believe that it isn't. Um, I just think maybe it's where they went at some point for some reason. I'm not sure why, and maybe we'll find out. But I don't feel like this is Anna Londo, but it's definitely the same people. Maybe it's the last remnants of Gwyn's army and his soldiers and his knights that decided to come here for whatever reason. Oh, got some water here. Very clearly underground now and uh, below sea level. You guarding anything of interest? Yes, you are. There's a little tunnel behind you. Careful of the dead angle. Don't want to hit someone, do you? Yeah, check this out. Stood directly in the way of this. Just love how fast that regen is. It's so good. Just checking my corners here. I mean, I don't want to get snuck upon. There's like these archways on each side. Ooh! Alright, be ready for a trap. 
And we're good. Knights. Oh, there's a knight set. Holy shit, is it the same knight set from the first one? Yeah, it looks, looks similar. Metal armor worn by knights. Standard issue for new Drang Lake knights. Knights have long trusted this armor for its excellence and functionality. Ah, oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Looks exactly the way it did before, but I, I quite like that. Quite like that. Doubt I'm able to wear it. I mean, it puts my weight up way too much. Way too much. So let's put the Wanderer's coat back on. Um, maybe I can wear different pieces of its sets. I think maybe it's suitable. No, a door that I can't go through, apparently. I think it's suitable that um, I get some vitality. Is that what it's called? What's the new stat called? Player stats. Some vit. Yeah, it must be vitality. Some vitality that um, basically increases the weight you can deal with. And Because I need to be an agile character. But I, d I definitely do want to wear some heavier armor. I don't want to be wandering around in this weak-ass cloak all the time. Oh, there's like a cave that I just sort of wandered in without even thinking about it. I wasn't expecting a cave. I thought there was going to be like a huge underground tomb and some sort of boss. But we're in some strange cave. Hang on. Is that what's the face that we met? We met at that prison. Fucking is. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> the longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? I think it's something that the king did. In uh, Boletaria, in Demon Souls, the king brought on the demons and came back with demon power and sort of brought on a monstrosity. I feel like it might be a similar style of story because we're trying to go see the king. But honestly, I have no idea. That's just speculation. And I, I would honestly be surprised if they used the same story in two Souls games. But yeah, that's currently my theory. Ah, uh, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you for so much. That's very useful. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Welp. Maybe I should tell you. Our land of mirror is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in mirror. Join the order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. I really like this character. And she's got dapper ass clothes. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Wow, the first time we met, she said she came here to collect her claim on the souls that were for reaping here. And now she's forgotten... Or oh, she's her memories become faded, like that map guy. And if you don't know, that's actually a symptom of the curse, the curse that this whole game is about. Hollowing and going insane and losing all purpose and then just being this insane shell of something you once were. And it seems she has the undead curse as well, sadly. Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. You're one of them. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. 
assuming, of course, that the legends are true. I can only hope that they are. She took off her mask. She took off her mask. Wow. That's really cool. That's really cool. The mask was kind of weird. I really like that hat, though. That's cool. That's What a cool character. I really like this character, man. You know, hard for earn everything she has. Afflicted by this curse, and she, she doesn't even realize it. Like, she knows about the curse. She's explained the curse to us. And that memory loss, and the fact that, yeah, she, I mean, she didn't even know what an effigy is and what it's used for. Whereas all undead, all afflicted by the curse who know about it, need them. She just gave us that one willy-nilly. She doesn't know that she's afflicted by this curse. I'm sorry. To burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. I, what, I really, I really like this character. I'm sorry. I All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you again. Maybe you'll actually be useful on a boss this time, eh? Last time you were nothing but a fucking burden. Yeah, so that's triggered her to move. You see that? She's gone now. Alright. So got some summon signs here. These will be players, right? Yep. Check, check them out. Look at the different people. It's cool. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh man, that, that was a really cool cat. Whoa. Oh my god. Look at that boat. It looks like a pirate ship. No man's wharf. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks like a fire arrow. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's like an underground... Oh, is that going to get up? Yeah, yeah, I fucking knew it. It's like an underground shanty, like, pirate pass or a pirate, pirate cove. I really like that. Right, I saw a guy on the roof of this building, so let's get in here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, look, they're just normal soldiers. What are they doing down here? Are these, like, uh, what are they called? The people that uh, give up and leave their army. Quitters. That's one word for them. A chest here. Nice Titanite shards. Although I don't really need them too much. But hey, I can upgrade something else with them. Oh, you're new. You look like a Viking. Kicked your ass. Still got the guy throwing fucking firing fire arrow things at us. I wonder if it sets you on fire when you get hit. I don't really want to find out. I better be careful. Now this is where not having a shield is an issue. Because if I'm having lots of guys throwing arrows at me, I definitely want to be able to block. I'm glad I can break your poise. Wow, you attack very quickly. You gotta be careful about these. They're like big and broady. They remind me of the guy with the Moonlight Greatsword actually. Kind of like Scottish in style, you know? None, none of that fire arrow bullshit. Look at that boat, I'm alright. Look very cool. Alright, so we've gone that way. There's a soul in the water there, but I doubt I can actually go in there. No, I've not been there. Ooh! Ooh, we have an ambush. Ooh, you got two scimitars. What the fuck did you just hit me with? I know that hit me. Oh! What the fuck is that? Shit, that was a radiant life gem. Didn't want to waste that. What the fuck are you? You look disgusting. Holy shit. Fuck you. Oh, you're very weak to fire damage. Just dropped a long sword. Damn it, I bought one of them. Well, you notice how my uh, cloak looks kind of wet? So does my feet. I don't think I was running in any water. I think he threw something at me. That guy, the, the guy that was throwing stuff at me. I don't know what he threw at me, but it's like black and gooey. Dark pine resin. Holy shit, that's new. 
Is that like uh, a new version of lightning damage? It does dark damage. Yeah, apply dark damage to the right hand weapon. Awesome. Can't wait to see that effect. I must be able to walk down into this water if there's loot here. Yeah, look. It's quite deep though. A large soul lost and dead and a life gem. Very good. I really quite like this area. It's very piratey. So I'm going to check out this bit before we go up those stairs. I can see some loot on the roof there that I want. What the fuck was that thing that attacked me though? It's really fucking creepy. Pretty dark down here. I could use a torch. I don't know if I can really go anywhere from here. I can go in the water, but I don't think I can fit under that gap, so there's no real reason to. So I guess I'll just go upstairs then. I see an enemy looking at me. Is this an ambush? Feels like an ambush. There's a dog. Yeah, he's throwing some fucking potion or some shit at me. Damn it, dog, you fucking got in my way. I gotta be careful. Those Viking style guys absolutely wreck. Damn, I thought I could jump up there. No man's wharf. Sleeping bastards, wake up. Oh, whoa! I just found a piece of... Damn it! I cannot trade with these guys. I need to get better at that. I just found a piece of their armor. Maybe we'll get some lore on them. Like, who the hell they are. First, open the chest. Priorities, people. Priorities. Brigands, hood, and bandit stuff. So, this is where you get the bandit armor. Bandit set. Um, so, what was what piece of armor did I actually get off them? Royal Swordsman, Brigands, that's the bandit stuff. Um, HUD won by looting brigands. Mountains surround Drang Lake on three sides. Most travellers who try to cross them end up hapless prey to the countless brigands lurking there. Alright, good to know. Um, ah, this is it. Varaganian. Varaganian cuffs. Cuffs worn by Varagan... Varga Varaga Varaganians that terrorize nearby seas. The coastline stretches far in northern Drang Lake. Beyond this northern sea is an unexplored continent said to be the home of things inhumane. Creepy. So the Varagans or Vagrians, and they're like pirates. So these, that's the new enemy we found. Where did you come from? A chest here, sweet. Titanite shards, repair powder. Damn it, so many Titanite shards. Maybe I should have come here earlier. Oh, we got the leggings of the set. Maybe that provide a bit more lore. So there's this bit up here. There's quite a lot of area to explore here. I don't think I can open this from this side. There's a summon sign on there. I wonder if there's a boss nearby. Probably. Nice. This looks like a whole different area I just jumped to without even thinking about it. Right, I've got to be careful here. There's a lot coming at me. Kind of want to check up this building, but can't really get up there. What's the message say? Let me out of here. Very useful. Thanks for the tip. Jerk. They are throwing something at me. I think I think it's like washed off me now. Yeah, it looks like I'm no longer like as dirty and wet from this, whatever this substance they're throwing at me is. But I have a feeling it might be oil because of its blackness and... Uh, Remember those guys that were firing fire, fire arrows at us earlier? I bet those two combined together to do some sort of nasty bit of damage. It's a pointless room then. Alright then, that was a strange thing. Maybe I missed something. 
I don't know, really know where the hell I am in relation to where I was earlier anymore because of the fact that I made that sort of jump. Maybe a mistake. Maybe. So you have an upturned ship here. Ah, look, it's just to the left. So that's the way I would have gone to get up that area. And there's also... Oh, it's like a... <laughs> they've turned an upturned ship into a house. We were in that house earlier. That's cool. I like that. I wonder if I can make the jump from here. Nah. Maybe I'll get it later. Alright, let's go higher. That's where we came from. Is that the jump we made? Whoa, where did you co I don't remember you being down there. All the enemies move around quite a lot. Damn it, you fuck. That's it, come fight me. Come fight me. Son of a bitch. Yeah, those two things blatantly work together. It's not like a firebomb, because they got hit by it and it covered me in black tar. I guess it could be tar. Oh, look, it's a Pharos spot. Hell yes. I didn't expect to see one on the floor. Wait, what? What are those? What? Did I just do something wrong? Small and smooth and silky stone. Sweet. S smooth and silky. But... I, I really feel like I made a mistake just now. By... Activating Ferris's lockstone. Um, it lit up the area, right? If I could just see above me, maybe I could check it. But I went down here to get this loot, and now I can't get back up. Fuck. Yeah, look, it lit. It lit this thing above me. I'm trying to get give you a good angle. There it is. What's that lead to? Leads over there. Have I unlocked something by doing that? I'm not sure, but. I'm hearing a lot of strange, creepy-ass sounds. Uh, not too big of a fan of. I wonder if I can jump down there. Just give it a shot. Aww. Alright, fair enough. No shortcuts to be had. Here we go, I made it a bit higher now. Um, good news, everyone. Mr. Awesome is online. Oh, look! It's those creepy... It's those creepy, like dark things. I bet they were all up here just chilling out and the light actually scared them away into the darkness. Check that out. They can't go into the light. It damages them or, or they're afraid of it. That's very awesome. I just got spell emit force. Come get it. Come into the light. Damn it. You're not allowed in the light. What are you doing? Come on, you fucks. Oh, there's three of them. i got to be careful here. That's it. Get burnt by the light, bitch. Whoa! Damn it, what are you doing out in the light? You can't be here. Not by the rules I kind of just made up. Alright, you fuck. 1v1 me. I win. I've only got five life gems, so I better be careful with those. Alright, so we've got this area here. <sighs> alright, alright. Fucking hell. Oh, there's two of you. Oh my! Point made. Point made. I need to be careful here. Damn, he's still alive! Look how little health he's got as well. Fucker. I can hear someone drinking. Do you hear that? Like quite deeply drinking. He's got some heavy boots there. Maybe that'll tell us a little bit of information about these weird creatures I'm killing. Heavy boots. Heavy boots. Heavy boots. There they are. Boots favoured by pyromancers, they appear tattered, but in fact the fabric is reinforced with pyromancy. Magic is no show, it is an art that allows mere mortals to glimpse into the very fabric of what is and may be. So, I'm not sure how or why, but 
those weird things were wearing pyromancy or had pyromancy boots. Maybe at one point it was a pyromancer? Whoa! You fucking stealthy bastard. You're supposed to get staggered when I hit you. God, this area, man. Tense. Tattered cloth robe. Maybe they were eating pyromancers. Whatever they are. Yeah, look, they've got loads of pyromancy stuff. I wonder if there were pyromancers that got turned into these weird, gross things. Is that an enemy? There's someone there. And he's, he's chugging something. And he's in this area with a lot of creepy undead things. I am ready for a fight. What the hell are you? Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan? Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. <laughs> Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> so is he a vendor? What you want? With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> He's a jolly fellow. Oh, I can sell items to him for a certain amount of souls. Sweet. Oh, that is great. Oh, that's so good. There's actually somewhere where you can sell crap that you don't need. Thank God for that. Oh, very, I really like that. I really like that. Sell all my crap, really. Oh, that's so good. What well, a quick way to get some souls. Alright, let's... I can sell everything that I've got, but... What do you actually sell? You sell one ring. Increases poise. Very good. You sell poison arrows. You sell poison moss. Reduces poison buildup and cures poison. You throw poison throwing knives and... Rotten pine resin. So for poison damage on your weapon. That's cool. Alright, um, I'm gonna buy four of your, uh, your anti-poison. I'm gonna need that later, I feel. Alright, cool. Thank you. Gavlan will. Gavlan what, what? Is that all you say, man? Is that all you say? Yep, yeah, that's all he says. So it's just a vendor that's kind of here. Many deal. Many thanks. <laughs> He's an interesting guy, isn't he? I quite like him. Ooh, a great sword. That's the first one we've sort of found that's like just called great sword. Where would it go? Where would it go? Here it is. A straight sword with a very long blade, one of the very few ultra great swords. No human was intended to wield a sword of this weight or destructiveness. Only a few famed warriors have ever wielded this great blade, for it challenges the very limits of human ability. Obviously, I have not got the stats for it, but... Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's insane. That looks really cool. Oh, God, I kind of really want to do a build that can use this thing now. Oh, it looks so cool. Wow. Next next playthrough. Next playthrough. Hang on, there's a blood stain here, and I'm terrified of mimics. Okay. Alright. He didn't get killed by the chest. <gasps> Damn it, Bloodstain, you're supposed to reveal that it was a, some sort of trap. Silver Talisman. Silver, tal Silver Talisman. What the hell is that? Is that for casting spells? Maybe? Silver Talisman. I actually have two of them. A tiny charm embedded with initiate magic. Used to transform into something to blend in. Ah, alright, so it's like a camouflage thing. That's cool. I have two of them. I don't really remember where I got the other one, but I I have it. It's a strange place for you to be hiding, Mr. Venderman. I must say, to say that there was all these undead creeps about. Does that say something about his character? I really need a bonfire, man. Like, real bad. My weapons are kind of degrading. Ah! Quite a lot. 
Fuck. I'm trying to only use left attacks right now because um, my right weapon's a bit degraded quite a lot. I don't want it to break. I don't want to put it at risk. Nice. God, I'm cutting these guys up. Let me just actually appreciate the the area we're in. I could pull something here. So there's a ship over there, and the docks down there. We've not been in this this side where I'm looking now. It's a cool little area though. A little like pirate's cove. Should I jump to that before pulling this? I'm gonna pull this and then jump. The hell did that do? I think I sounded an alarm. Well, what the fuck? Oh my god, is it a ghost ship? Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, look, it's docked at the, the port. Oh man, it's like a ghost ship. That's so cool. Life gems, homeward bones, sweet. Oh god, there's someone on there and he doesn't look friendly. Probably wondering who rang the bell. It was me. Let's check out this area in case I can spot a bonfire somewhere that I might have missed. Clearly we're using that ghost ship to get... Oh, You alright, mate? What are you doing here? You look very chilled out. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Carillion, and I've no interest in the magic impaired. Is this the person that she was talking about earlier? The the, the master that she came here with? Hmm. I see light. Oh. So I have to be a magic user for him to sort of talk to me. He's probably the person who teaches you magic, do you think? Alright guys, I'm going to have to cut it here. It's getting a bit long this episode. Um, this is No Man's Wharf or whatever it was called. A pirate shanty town area and I really need a bonfire. And it looks like we're about to go on a ghost ship. So look forward to that next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you guys next time tomorrow. Have a very good day. See you next time. His name is Carillion of the Fold. I am Carillion.